Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, and uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. This is Ford's seventh year here at CES, and we're really pleased to be back once again. Over the years, we've learned a great deal about the pace of innovation in consumer electronics and how we can play a part in that. Technology enables us to provide our customers with a fully personalized driving experience, which with technologies like Ford Sync, when we first launched it here at uh, CES, was practically inconceivable at any price point. Sync was the first in-car technology that we introduced here at CES, and we followed up with our My Ford Touch connectivity system, AppLink, and our first all-electric sedan, the Focus Electric. Each one of these demonstrates our commitment to delivering the best in quality, fuel efficiency, safety, and smart technologies. When you add in our commitment to making technology attainable to all, you've defined innovation at the Ford Motor Company today. This innovation is the result of the dedicated commitment of our technology teams all around the world, all inspired by one person, our founder, Henry Ford. 2013 marks the 150th anniversary of Henry Ford's birth. Henry founded a company of ingenuity using mechanical solutions to improve the lives and move the world forward. Our CEO, Alan Mullally, introduced his team to this advertisement that he commissioned for the Saturday Evening Post in 1925. The title is Opening the Highways to All Mankind. This ad spells out Henry's vision for making personal mobility available, not just to wealthy people, but to all mankind. It goes on to talk about how we always need to focus on continuous improvement, because in doing so, we help make life better for everyone while making our contribution to a better world. That same vision continues to drive us today. Henry looked for ideas everywhere, from the workers on the plant floor to his closest friends and partners. He liked to go camping together with Thomas Edison, naturalists like John Burroughs and Luther Burbank, Harvey Firestone, and sometimes even President Warren G. Harding. Can you imagine the big ideas that must have been hatched on those trips? Just as Henry looked to his friends for collaboration, today we're doing the same to foster innovation. We're inviting software developers from all over the world to help us deliver thoughtful, meaningful solutions that will enhance the driving experience and continue to open the highways to all mankind. It's called the Ford Developer Program. And now, to tell you more about it, it's my pleasure to introduce our Vice President of Engineering, Hao Tai Tang. Hao? Thanks, Paul. Today, we're proud to launch the Ford Developer Program, the first open developer program in the automotive industry. And with it, developer.ford.com, a single source portal for all of the information and tools that a software developer needs to begin to work with Sync AppLink, including our application programming interfaces, or APIs, that allow apps to interface with the in-vehicle controls and audio, including the voice recognition, the displays, the buttons, and the microphone. All of the capability, the entertainment, the innovation that software developers are about to dream up will come to Ford and Lincoln owners through our Sync connectivity technology. 65% of Sync owners with smartphones report that the Sync feature was an important part of their purchase decision, and they continue to be highly satisfied. In fact, 74% of the owners say that they would recommend the system to a friend, and Sync hasn't even reached its full potential yet. With the explosive growth of smartphones, we've seen a rise in an entire app economy. Today, there are more than a billion smartphones in use, and a grand total of 55 billion downloads of apps so far. And there's more to come. 
with another billion smartphone projected to be in use by 2015. Not surprisingly, all of these new smartphone owners want to use the full expanded capabilities of their phones in the car. Just offering voice control for phone and media players is no longer sufficient. Recent studies show that increased in-car usage among smartphone users versus feature phone users, especially when it comes to accessing the internet. 75% of smartphone users believe it's important to connect their devices to their vehicles. And 66% say that voice control is critical. However, smartphone users are twice as likely as feature phone users to use their phones, touchscreens, and keypads while they're driving if the technology embedded in the vehicle doesn't meet their needs. This puts us at a very critical point for in-car connectivity, and it provides an opportunity to apply our voice control principles to increase capabilities such as app usage. And this is where AppLink really comes into the picture. It allows drivers to have hands-free voice control over their smartphone apps in the car. This enables the drivers to keep their hands on the wheels and their eyes on the road. And this is a critical foundation for safe driving. We've already rolled out our app link to more than one million vehicles here in North America. We have plans to expand its availability to over another million more vehicles um, later on this year. And then we'll launch in Europe as well as in Asia. By 2015, we project that there will be over 14 million vehicles synced equipped around the world, providing a significant and robust business opportunity for our software developers. We've already had great success working with developers in our key categories. For example, in the music and entertainment category, examples include Pandora, iHeartRadio, Slacker, Mog, and TuneIn. In the news and information category, we have partners such as NPR News, Stitcher, Allergy Alert, and MLB.com's at bat. In the location and navigation category, we're working with Scout, Roximity, and our own Sync Destinations app by Inrix. Each of these apps provide added value by allowing the drivers to access their favorite content while driving, all using voice controls, so they don't have to look away from the road and glance at the small screens on their smartphones. But today is really about expanding the access and avail availability of the AppLink software beyond just our original partners so that everyone who has a great idea can have an opportunity to create, test, and possibly deploy their app within a Ford vehicle. Our developer program benefits our customers, the developers, as well as the company. Customers will benefit from a cadence of new features that will become available to them over the course of the ownership experience and enjoy a continually evolving range of choices for responsibly personalizing their in-car experience. This is especially compelling for millennial customers who enjoy customizing their experiences with consumer products. Selecting and using apps is one of the easiest ways for them to personalize the functionality of both their communication devices as well as their vehicles. For Ford, the developer program allows us to harness the creativity of the entire app developer community to quickly respond to market trends and unique needs all around the globe, supporting our global expansion by ensuring that the right apps are available quickly in the right markets. For developers, AppLink opens up a whole new creative canvas, focusing on the in-car experience, which can be explored on our very high volume sync platform, which serves as a great launching point for apps and services that are relevant for the car. Now, to give you more information on how developers can get involved with the Ford Developer Program, please welcome Julius Marchwicki from our Connected Services Solutions Organization. Julius. Thanks, Tom. The Ford Developer Program is live today, and the automobile is now open for business. With this program, we have done everything possible to make it easy to work with AppLink. To get started, just visit developer.ford.com and sign up. Everything you need to know is explained on the site, from software and sample code 
to agreements and licenses. We encourage everyone to log on and start thinking about the types of apps that can bring customers valuable content while keeping their eyes on the road and their hands on the wheel. We generally look for apps in the categories of music and entertainment, news and information, networking, location and navigation, health and wellness, and personal productivity. Now, while we can't write down all the rules for appropriate in-vehicle app usage, there are some types of apps we can't accept. We will instantly deny any apps that attempt to display video content or rich imagery when connected to the vehicle. Apps that require extensive text or reading of text on the in-vehicle display, and apps that involve playing games. Once you have a great idea for an app, you can take advantage of the most comprehensive set of resources available from any automaker. The software development kits for iPhone and Android, documentation, sample code, test procedures, tips and tricks, blog posts, an online forum, and a staff of four developers to help you out. We'll even make a technology development kit available. It's basically a sink in a box, so you can test your app even if you don't own a Ford vehicle, but I'd be happy to sell you one. Over the next few months, our team will be releasing even more tooling, such as a software emul emulator, self-certification tools, and debugging options to get you developing even faster. The Ford Developer Program site is available to all developers globally, first in English, with other languages to come. If you have a great idea, but you don't want to develop your app on your own, you don't have to. The Ford Developer Program will connect you with Jake Apps, our approved app development house. Once you have an app built, you can request distribution rights, at which point your app will undergo rigorous testing to ensure that it works as intended and meets our criteria for safe driving. Provided your app passes in the first round of testing, all of this can happen at no cost to you. If you need help, you can use the dev site to engage our testing partner, Setacom. We know there are a number of options out there, but we believe developers can be more successful using the AppLink API more than any other available for automobiles. Why? It's simple. You develop on the same high-volume mobile platforms as usual. We're not asking you to learn an all-new platform. It's easy. Developers have integrated the API in a matter of a few days. It's high-volume and global. There are more than one million cars on the road and more coming this year in markets around the world. And there's help. We have a dedicated team dedicated to help you with questions that you may have about the SDK and getting an app to market. But you don't have to take my word for it. We're pleased to have a few of our developer partners here to share their own success stories. For the last two years, we have hosted a developer challenge during the hackathon at TechCrunch Disrupt in San Francisco. Developers were given 24 hours to develop and present their AppLink idea. In our first challenge, Roximity won with an app that helps customers find nearby deals on products and services they love. A really smart and very appropriate way to utilize AppLink. And it's a great value add for our customers. Since then, they have launched a startup and received venture capital investment to expand their business. They're with us today, so congratulations, Roximity. This past September, we chose our second AppLink Challenge winner, B Coupley, another startup in the early stages of launch. The B Coupley app gives couples on the go, or the last minute planner on his way to pick up his dates, a great way to find date ideas based on their location. Just launch the app via AppLink and ask, what are some good date ideas nearby? You'll get a list of suggestions from brunch to bowling, Choose one, and the Bcoupley app will offer suggestions and nearby destinations. To tell you more about it, I'd like to invite business partners and real-life couple, Pius Uzamare and Becky Cruz, onto the stage.
Thank you so much. We're really excited to be here. As Julius mentioned, we're a couple in real life. As our relationship became more serious, we realized that our social life had changed. We wanted to spend more time going out on dates and less time with single friends at the bar. So we created Becoupley to use in our own relationship. In fact, Haya spelled the first version for me as a surprise. I was trying to impress Couples have epic social lives. And we're excited to announce that tomorrow we'll be launching our iPhone app. The app is a fun, addictive way to discover the best date ideas nearby, capture and share special moments, and make plans with your sweetie. In addition to launching our iPhone app, we're thrilled to be partnering with Ford. For many couples, great dates begin in their car. So we asked ourselves, how could we extend our app concept to the car and create a truly magical experience for couples? Pius actually built the first version of the AppLink integration in just one night. But since winning the AppLink challenge in September, we've worked to build out the full product, which will soon be available in all Ford vehicles. How does it work? Just launch the app in your car and ask what date ideas are available nearby. In response, you'll hear a list of suggested date ideas, such as have brunch or go bowling. After you pick an idea that interests you, Becoupley will tell you the very best places to do it. Then, once you've selected your date spot, Becoupley provides turn-by-turn -turn navigation to help you get there. This is a huge opportunity for us to make the lives uh, for us to make the lives of millions of couples more fun, and we couldn't be more excited. Our iPhone app will be available tomorrow, and we're giving away an exclusive meet and greet with Motley Crue for the best moment that's shared with the app before Valentine's Day. So uh, we hope you'll come find us afterward to learn more. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thomas and Becky. We're really glad that you could be here with us today. The AppLink API presents a great opportunity for innovators to bring their visions to life. But it's just as useful for established developers as it is for startups. We're excited that AppLink can support the development of all new apps from small startups, but we also want to make development easier for big players such as Nuance, Telenav, Gracenote, and Inrix. While many may think developer programs are oriented around new app categories, a priority for Ford is to provide our customers access to the latest core automotive products, such as music, news, navigation, voice, traffic, and maps, where the category leaders are constantly changing. By providing voice access to the very latest and most popular regional apps, we can reduce the number of people reaching for their smartphones while driving. And at Ford, we feel really good about that. To take a deeper dive and introduce some of our newest partners, please welcome Director of Ford Connected Services Solutions, Doug Van Dagens. More and more established content providers are discovering that AppLink gives them a great way to distribute content to our customers. In fact, today we are announcing the addition of nine new apps to our ecosystem, and they're all with us here today. First, starting in the category of news and information, we're pleased to announce the Wall Street Journal Live. The interactive app in the Wall Street Journal now bringing you live and on-demand radio programming content to stay on top of the latest news, markets, tech, and lifestyle coverage. Subscribers can even access their own exclusive content throughout the day with the now edition, the seven day downloaded archive they can listen to anytime. Also note the lockout screen that you will see when the app is connected to AppLink. This is something we require to be designed into every AppLink app to keep drivers focused on accessing the content with voice controls and steering wheel buttons and not fiddling with their phones. Next, I'm proud to announce USA Today. Four drivers will be the first to listen to the favorite USA Today headline stories read to them by real people. To tell us more, please welcome Senior Vice President and Chief Digital Officer of the Gannett Company, David Payne. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Uh, we're delighted to be here. This is a uh, an exciting new frontier for USA Today, and thanks to our partnership with uh, Ford today, we're finally entering the one frontier, the one place of people's lives where we are not already 
America's news brand, and that is the car. For consumers, when you think about news, it's about habit. People wake up in the morning, whether you open up a newspaper, turn on the TV, or bring up a web page. Whatever their preference, they're engaging in a daily habit. And more and more, uh, they're turning to satisfy that habit with their phones and their tablets. We know our consumers love our apps, yet when they leave the house and enter their cars to begin their commutes, they can no longer safely accommodate their desire for on-demand news. So now, for the first time, consumers will have a safe way to support this habit and get the latest news, finance, and sports from USA Today and Ford. And it's not in some text-to-speech text format, but it's actually professionally produced audio that's delivered and updated several times a day. So when you think about it, this is really the first consumer-friendly news app for the car. It's an on-demand voice and steering wheel controlled app covering the latest news, whether that's blue, red, green, or, or purple. It's not a radio station. It's not a, it's not a wheel. It's not a stream. Consumers control what types of stories they want to listen to. They can skip. They can repeat. They can fast forward, whatever their choice with this app. So at USA Today, we live for these opportunities, providing busy consumers with useful and digestible news wherever they are. We're on your hotel doorstop, we're on planes, we're in airports, we're in restaurants, at work they tune into us on the desktop, and at night they're increasingly turning to our iPad app for getting their nightly news fix. Everywhere but the car commute, where consumers are forced currently to tune into a wheel of news instead of what interests them specifically. And this is why we're here today. With Ford Sync's voice command, people can now quickly get the news they want in the car when they want it and more importantly, in a safe and personal way. And that's the type of innovation you would expect from two great American companies, USA Today and Ford. Thank you very much. Thanks again, David. Great stuff, isn't it? We also have several great new partners in the music and entertainment arena that we want to talk about today. Starting with AHA Radio, a free app and service that brings our customers so much more than just radio. AHA organizes all of your favorite internet content, thousands of internet radio channels, news, entertainment, music, audiobooks, and social feeds. AHA also lets you choose from your favorite podcast from trusted sources such as ABC, Fox Sports, and even Disney for your kids. You can even get personalized restaurant, coffee, weather, and hotel stations. AHA really brings a lot of great niche content you won't find elsewhere. And it's available in six languages, including in the US, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Definitely a great partner to grow with globally. Applic is helping terrestrial radio stations bring new capabilities into the car as well. As our relationship with greater media demonstrates. We are Applink enabling the apps of Greater Media's 16 regional radio stations to give their listeners voice activated access to their content. Now drivers can hear their favorites like Drew and Mike from Detroit's WRIF, or Lauren and Wally from Boston's WROR, or even listen to live Panthers or Tar Heels games on News Talk 1110 from Charlotte, no matter where they go. And for those of you who are as old as I am, uh, the classic rock station in country WCX is also included. Up next is Rhapsody. It's a name I know most of you will know really well. With over 16 million songs, Rhapsody is the largest premium subscription music service in the United States. The Rhapsody app lets you stream anything in their gigantic catalog or listen without a connection by downloading the playlist to your device. Rhapsody's experience in bringing music to millions of listeners since 2001 is clearly evident in the fact that they were able to implement AppLink in just one week. Really nice work, really nice work. You know all those magazines you never get around to reading? I know I have a stack or two in, in my uh, living room. That's why I'm happy to announce Kaliki, a new partner offering mobile audio newsstand app with free human-read content. Kaliki will read your favorite publications to you while you commute in a real human voice. Shade Magazine, TV Guide, OK Magazine are some of the titles being launched on the platform 
with other major media brands coming shortly after CES. Kaliki is also offering daily national broadcast news and local newspapers, starting with Los Angeles and Detroit, including our hometown paper, the Detroit Free Press. Amazing work for a company that's only been around since June. Last June, excuse me. Access to music has gone in many directions since going digital. And with AppLink, we've been able to bring the best internet-based, personalized, and on-demand services. Today, we're going even further with the launch of the first cloud-based music locker app for the car, Amazon Cloud Player. Amazon is one of the largest digital music retailers in the world with tens of millions of customers. Here to tell us more about it is Steve Boom, the Vice President of Worldwide Digital Music at Amazon. Thanks, Doug, and I uh, can't say how excited Amazon is to be here today and how thrilled we are to be working with such a company as Ford. You know, at Amazon, we're music lovers. Music lovers tend to have lots and lots of music in their collections, and music lovers like to get access to that music whenever and wherever they want. Just imagine it's Friday night, you got off work, you're on your way home, and you kind of want a few tunes to pump you up. Well, speeding down the freeway, rifling through your glove box, looking for the latest CD from Mumford & Sons, probably not such a great idea, especially when you find out that your wife probably took it out of your, seat, your glove box and put it in her car while you weren't looking. Also not such a great idea to pull out your smartphone or your MP3 player and start fumbling around looking for it, only then to find out that, in fact, you forgot to sync that music to your device. That's why about two years ago, Amazon launched Cloud Player. Amazon was the first retailer to launch a cloud service that lets customers easily get their music into the cloud. And once it's up in the cloud, they can play it virtually anywhere, anytime, and on any device. Kindle Fire tablets, iPods, iPhones, iPads, Android phones, Android tablets, and even home entertainment systems from Samsung, Samsung Roku, and Sonos. The music is there when you want it, always. No need to sync it, no need to download it, and there's no losing it. And today, we're excited to announce that Amazon Cloud Player customers will be able to enjoy their music in their Ford cars through AppLink. With just a few simple voice commands, Amazon customers will be able to play their entire music libraries while they're driving the car. This is a convenient and more importantly safe way to play back all of your music in the car. So whether well, it's the Friday night party mix, the Monday morning melancholy mix, uh, your music is all there. All you have to do is ask your Ford car to play it for you. No more messing around with CDs, no more messing around with cords or wires, uh, no more downloading or syncing. How cool is that? Uh, we think this is something that customers are going to love. Thank you. Great news for customers who love music because the Amazon Cloud Player lets you store up to 250,000 songs. Now let's talk about what's new in navigation and location. It's an app we're really excited about because it's a great complement to the driving experience. It's called Glimpse, and it enables millions of users globally to share location information with family and friends via email, SMS, Facebook, or Twitter. Glimpse eliminates the need to keep calling or texting where you are. Instead, you send a link that friends or family can use to track your location for a length of time that you choose. With AppLink, sending the link is as easy as using a voice command or tapping a preset button on the dashboard. This is especially helpful for customers who want to know the comfort or have the comfort of knowing where their kids are, like, like myself. We'd like to invite Glimpse CEO and co-founder Brian Trussell up to share his team's experience. Hi everybody, thank you. Thank you, Doug. Uh, we're very excited to be here and announce the availability of Glimpse with the Apple platform today. It's uh, been a long time and we've been very excited to get into the car and, and have it there. When we started Glimpse as a company as a standalone mobile smartphone application app, uh, app what we did is we kept a real focus on making it very simple to share your location with other people. We wanted to make it intuitive, easy to use, and then very rich on the receiving side to see that real-time location of where your current location is. 
Now, we always knew that uh, aside from the app, which has done very well, we've got millions of users, uh, we've gotten great reviews from the press, great reviews from our customers, but we always knew that the car, there'd be a very strong synergy with what we were doing. And if you think about it, it makes sense. We know this empirically because we look at the data and we see a lot of people when they send clips from their smartphones, they're in their car going from point A to point B. But we know this kind of intuitively, right? When you think about how you use your car today, you're usually going to meet somebody or to pick somebody up, and they're usually concerned about what your ETA is and where you are. So if it's, whether it's heading home, it's going to pick up the kids from soccer, it's going to a business meeting, it's meeting somebody for dinner or for drinks, picking up somebody from the airport, there's always that where are you concept. And we know that because these distracting texts and phone calls that come to your car generally start off with a, hey, where are you? So we knew that with the right experience, we could be more simple and more intuitive in an automotive uh, integrated experience. So we're excited that with the Ford app link, that users are now able to be a voice, to be able to say to send a glimpse, or just via a pre-programmed button on their dash to be able to touch and send a glimpse and then not have to worry or have the person on the receiving side worry about where they are and when they'll arrive. It was really uh, exciting when we built Glimps from the beginning we built it as a platform because we knew we'd want to integrate with other software and hardware partners and it was great when Appling came along because that was built as a platform made for third-party developers. So when we went to go build this and integrate it into the car it was really just a matter of a couple days before we were up and running and had a robust situation where people could, for a set period of time, share rich, vivid, real-time location information with wherever they were headed or was ever curious of uh, where they were at. So we're excited that now, uh, available today, you will be able to take the Glimpse smartphone application, your app link enabled uh, Ford vehicle, and be able to send a Glimpse out. So if you own a Ford, go give it a shot. I think you'll really be happy. And if you don't, go buy one so that you can try it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. That's, that's really cool. Now as we plan to launch AppLink globally this year, we're happy to announce one of our first partners to come out of Asia. Sina is an online media company serving China and global Chinese communities. It provides users access to professional media and user-generated content via web and mobile devices and enables them to share their interests with friends. Sina boasts 424 million registered users. That's four more than the entire population of the United States. And they process more than 120 million news and message posts every single day. We're currently working with Sina to help enable their Weibo mobile app for use in Ford vehicles later this year. Users will be able to access news, weather, location-based services, and especially interesting microblogging posts. As we continue to expand into global markets, Sina is the perfect example of the future content Applet will provide, such as local maps or traffic, local or regional music and news, and of course, off-board language technology. Applet will help ensure that regional content will quickly become available in new markets and that people will easily be able to interact with their AppLink apps in their own languages. As all of our new partners show, AppLink literally presents a world of opportunity for developers bringing their great new in-car experience to millions of customers and become part of a vibrant and growing AppLink ecosystem. And we're not stopping here. We'll continue to introduce new APIs over time to feed the developer community's hunger for new and creative opportunities. In fact, we're going to go a step further for our development partners. One thing we've noticed is that developers are overwhelmed by the number of software platforms, some of which they're even asked to pay to use. At Ford, we want to make it easy for them to succeed in the automotive space. To help, we're doing something no other automaker has done. We're offering our software that we developed, Ford's intellectual property, for free. Globally, license-free, and royalty-free. AppLink has always been an open and versatile platform. Contributing the software license-free to the industry is the next logical step. And we're making a high-volume solution available to help reduce the number of platforms developers will be required to work with. We are actively working with several industry groups 
to explore becoming the standard protocol for smartphone app integration inside the car. I want to thank all of our partners for innovating with us, and to those of you who are already, right now, thinking up the next big thing. Please don't hesitate to talk to us at all the booths and the stations after the presentation. Now I'd like to invite Paul back on stage to wrap things up. Paul? Thanks, Doug. It really is so exciting for me to see the next phase of the evolution of the driving experience unfolding right here before our, before our eyes. Uh, AppLink is an innovation that will help us continue to open the highways to all mankind. By inviting a global community of developers to collaborate with us, the developer program will help spring affordable connectivity solutions to growing markets around the world. This marks a strategic shift in how we innovate for the future. Collaboration is ever more important as we face a rapidly changing and diverse world. It's one thing to be customer focused, but Ford also wants to be developer focused. What we've shared with you today is the result of more than two years of working with developers. We understand what developers need and we're making it easy for them to be successful with us. As you've seen, we're live, we're open, and we hope that many more of you will visit developer.ford.com to become part of this Ford Developer Program. Thanks again to all our partners who have shared the stage with us this afternoon. As you can see, many are here with their demo stations around the room. Please take some time to visit them and know more about our AppLink ecosystem. With that, we'll close out the conference. We're here for some questions. Thank you all for attending, and uh, enjoy CES with us. Thank you.